Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wheat Rebrooms channel. Today I have Carissa Nicole. She is one of my oldest girls and I love her. She is the first doll that when I sit her on the floor, she totally just um, sits there on her own. And yet she is still like super, super floppy. I just love her and she is so unique. I I learned to really, really, really love her. I bought her from a friend, Erin Candle Sparkle, and I bought her secondhand. Um but I just love her. She has she is the first doll, big girl, that has combination hair. So it's painted. Actually, I remember this. Erin told me that um, she was only had painted hair and Erin rooted her. Erin added some hair. Like, I'm not sure which. You know, you can't even tell like what's painted and what's rooted. Um, she purposely put a little tough at the top for realism so <laughs> she's so heavy oh i love her now she's on a really old-fashioned body i know nowadays going through collector's preferences um she is three-quarter leg and three-quarter arm but the way that she is put together is like i love it and i don't know how like she is so heavy and floppy like if i go like this she is like super heavy but yet i could just sit her and she just sits oh well she has been on the floor but if i sit her down she totally could sit there and i love it she is so realistic i have so many pictures of her playing with her toys in front of the tv and i love that her earrings are perfect baby size oh carissa <laughs> i love her i'm not sure who her artist is because I bought her she she might even be third hand I'm not sure but I love her so much um I came here because my I just want to see what's on the shelf you know what guys it's been so long that I've been in here I've been so busy um but and I really need to try and downsize somehow. The thing is, I don't want to sell anything because I know that things are very expensive now. Like, I can't even, okay, I shouldn't say this. I can afford more accessories, more clothing, but I choose not to because I have such a huge collection. I don't need to. And... My crafting supplies are getting piling up as well. So I do want to start making more of my um, uh, boho style teething toys and pacifier clips. And I still have yet to do a tutorial for that for you guys, which I am looking forward to. I was going to do it today, but... But... I can't really do it in here, and yeah, but I will soon, I promise. Oh, she's so cute, but you know what? She is like, whoa, she is heavy, heavy girl. I just want to see what's on that desk shelf, because I see that there are some brand new things. <sighs> I totally forgot what's on here. Okay, Chris, are you going to have to sit? Okay. I love how she could just sit there. Okay. 
Let's see. This is a diaper. How exciting. Not very exciting. So this is just a diaper. This is an empty Ziploc bag. Not very exciting. Oh, <laughs> I'm in this magazine. I wish that I could protect this somehow. This is Reborn Life magazine. Issue... Issue 4 for October and December 2021. I have a three-page spread, which is so cool. Um, and I've been in this magazine before, like, only as, like, the collectors. I don't know. They have a page of, like, collectors. And I'm on the previous issue before that. Or issue one, one of the, like on these, my picture is on like, this is tour, <laughs> tour around the world. So, I mean, this isn't the first time I've been in the magazine, but it's the first time that what I wrote has been published. So, in my nursery... And that says my baby was killed. I always loved dolls. I was four years old. This is my first memory of a little doll. I loved immensely. Yeah, and I was kind of talking about even the ups and downs being in the YouTube Reborn World. Um, there are so many phases that a collector goes through. It's true that many of us get addicted to the box openings and to buying a doll, to buying accessories, and um, over time, your collection does grow. And a lot of ladies, uh, like, downsize by selling or gifting. Um, I would love... I have decided, even though I'm even nervous of gifting, I've gifted, like, a few dolls in the past, and some items, but I'm always worried that even somebody might complain. <laughs> and I'm really, that's what I'm afraid of. Or if I, like, especially with the giveaways I used to do in the past, or with winners not winning, and like, but I entered so many times, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> But, um, yeah, so, that's cool. I really feel honored that I'm in this magazine. And I remember making this. It says, Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend forgot about dolls. <laughs> that's a Danielle. Danielle is my, um, my Greta kid. She is my first custom base to look like myself. <laughs> and Francis, excuse me. Okay, let's see. What else? Right, here's some. Oh, this is a clothing that. Uh, Jenny gifted me some clothing. Or uh, is this? Or there's a picture of a scarf on here. Oh, yeah. It was one of the gifts that she... I just kept the tags out of the way. <laughs> here is um some twist ties for, or baby twist ties. Twist ties. Cable ties from McPherson's. Oh, what's this? Cards. <sighs> Passy school. Oh, I was keeping track. Oh yeah, this is when I kept track of when I used to do passing scoops and what everyone voted on. So I kept everyone who commented and who participated. And I was thinking of doing like um, a giveaway with these people. But I never got around to it because um, 
and then like financial reasons let's just say it, but these are cable ties from the dollar store they're so tiny these are hard to find nowadays but like a pack of like 50 of them for only a dollar and they're not that different from mcpherson's although mcpherson's are still small and here are mcpherson size and here are the so they're not too badly different oh yes i kept this beautiful wrapping paper that came in some happy mail from julie i'm pretty sure it's either from Julie or Erin. One of the two. Ooh, it was a book that I made. <laughs> oh, detailed lists. This has nothing to do. I... Should I admit this? <laughs> Many years ago, when... Like, this is probably 18, 19 years ago, 20 years ago. I used to be a part of what's called Fly Lady. And Fly Lady is a, um, a cleaning system for your house. Like, for instance, she did what's called a weekly home blessing, where every day of the week is a different chore. And the ideal is, is that if you stick to this plan, then your house will be extremely clean. <laughs> Zone detailed cleaning. I was such a geek. I, I used to love, not as much anymore because I'm so busy, but I, I love cleaning and organizing. I mean, I have so much stuff that was kind of hard to really say that, but... So there's different zones around the house, and each week you concentrate on a zone to clean. For instance, zone three, and they're just checklists. I used to love doing this stuff. So I made these books at school one time when I had some free time at the end of the year. And this is called like a home journal. I guess it's... Oh, here's a... Here's an icon for, this is what she looks like, wait, I'm trying to sum this page. You know the um, licking your, wait, to turn pages? I don't do that anymore. Ever since COVID, I can't even do it. I can't even force myself to do that. This is Fly Lady. What's her real name? I even forget her real name. It's been a while since this home maintenance control journal is going to take the mystery out of what to do, when to do it, and how to maintain your home. So it's kind of cool. So in the beginning, you do like uh, pretend a realtor walk around your house and you list all the things that need repair or replacement. Or even if you just want to change the look of, and you write everything down, what, are, what needs to be cleaned or decluttered, what needs replacing, painting, repairing, do I need to hire anyone for it, or can I do it myself? And you do that throughout your whole house. And then, she has tips and ideas like put on your electrician hat, put on your plumber hat. Anyways, oh, and there's like season checklists. There's a winter one. So, anyways, I don't want to spend too much time. But I used to love, I love doing it. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to get back into it. And I never did. So that's what these empty books are about. Because <laughs> I used to do it so, so much. And I kind of miss it because, yes, I need to declutter but, um, and I thought, okay, I'm going to get into it. Never did. Yeah. Typical, typical me lately. Oh, I like keeping these. I don't know why. <laughs> this is a cool organizer. I had another one of these that I gifted. I'm pretty sure I gifted one to Julie. 
if I'm wrong, Julie, sorry. I know I gifted one to somebody. Or maybe it was Mandy. It's just a fun bathroom organizer. You can hang it when you go on vacation in the bathroom. It's just a bathroom. A hanging bathroom organizer or makeup or whatever. But I had a few of these. And I gifted a couple, actually. So maybe Julie and... Mandy going. This, I never used it, but I want to plan on using it. See, the reason why I have these things is because I used to sell Avon before coming into the Reborn hobby, and I was my own best customer. Oh my goodness, I bought myself so many things, and one of each in the makeup department. <laughs> it was so much fun. But then, when I discovered the hobby, Kate Avon, bye. See ya. I'm going into the dollar world. But I did end up saving myself. See, when I did Avon and discovered the hobby, I was kind of doing both channels. Because I also had an Avon channel before this one. So that's why I'm used to talking to you guys, being in front of a camera. And I know how to edit videos and stuff. Because I used to have a channel. And, um... And there was a time when I was doing Avon and the hobby. So I didn't start by myself like the baby. There's not many baby things in Avon, but there are a few organizers and stuff. Like, I thought if I ever, it's for the boys, it's an organizer. Just one of those cloth bins. I don't have room for it yet, but once I do, I would totally open it and use it. And I love Nemo's. I went through a phase. Oh. Oh, that's... This is my... I own some partial silicone dolls. So this is like powder and just a powdering brush for my partial silicone babies. Oh. This is the last thing. <laughs> Can you guess what this is for? Well, what it's what it's really for and what it's intended for are going to be two different things. Yes, it's a baby bottle dryer, but I I really I like I mentioned this a few times. I have everything I need to reborn. And this will hold the limbs. And the head. When I'm ready to reborn, I have some reborning supplies in these organizers. And I have some, like, body stash over there. I have, I have a lot of, I'm not even looking at you, sorry. But I just was curious to see, and I thought we could go through this together. So I'll just... I don't know what to do with these. Is there? I don't know. I I remember being bored near the end of the year at work, and I thought, no, oh, I'll go for Fly Lady again and try and get back into it. And then summer happened, and all the fun stuff of summer went on. Does that look all right? Yeah, see I have these are um, joints, I guess, products for joints. Alright, <laughs> I don't know the name. I remember buying this from the dump. This is to add, you know, that museum stuff. I don't know, to add for water. Yeah, I don't know. Or distilled water to add to. <laughs> I forget why. <laughs> forget why I have these things. Oh, these are for some smaller size. Forget why I bought these to replace. Oh, here's some hair that was gifted to me. Kid Black. 
I'm not sure exactly what kind, like a mohair or something. Super soft. I tried rooting once. It didn't work out so well. But I tried, and this is the other, oh, kid black. So two things of black mohair. I do love my black. Um, I was gifted some reboarding stuff from Caroline, who is no longer in the YouTube world. I'm not sure if she still watches, but if you do, Caroline, I really appreciate it. I still, I will, I will use, I have used some of this, but I'm not, I'm not good at it yet. And I want to be, want to practice first before, if that makes sense. So just I don't know why I like keeping those bangs. Some sponges, I don't know. I just thought I bought them in a pack. I don't know if they'll, I might, like, you know, cut off. Like, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, these, these are makeup sponges. I was going to cut them for those modeling. Is that what they call it? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know. Oh, these I bought from AliExpress. They are charms. Little, little, little. Oh, I can't wait to make some jewelry with these. Some like baby bracelets. Oh, it's a little big. They have smaller. Really small. I don't want to drop it. Can you see that? It's like a little flower pot, I think. It's so pretty, though. But, like, there's over a hundred pieces in here. Like, moons. There's tons of different themes. Baby themes. Oh, it's a beautiful heart. Oh, little child person. Like a stick figure. Dragonflies. Oh, the peace sign. Oh, sorry, you can't even see. But there's a whole bunch of different tons. Oh, there's even ones with saying about on them. This whole package cost me like 79 cents Canadian, which is amazing. And I bought these beans. They're crystal, crystal beans. But they're a lot smaller than I thought. I can still use these though in like um, friendship bracelets and stuff. They're so pretty. So then. I learned to buy the bigger size. Look, I still have all these from McPherson's. <laughs> about these bigger size. They're, this is the size I wanted to make bracelets or to add to like my crafts. I bought pink ones, of course, and then these multi. But I really, I think they're so pretty. Like pacifier clips or, um, <laughs> but yeah, the first time I ordered some, I thought it was pretty. I got, I'm like, at least I wait too small. Look at the size difference. <laughs> this is what I wanted. You know what? I saw the, these first on TikTok. Some lady with like scoops of these. 
And I'm like, this is so pretty. I want a whole bunch. <laughs> so I ordered some and got these. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, pretty, but way too small. <laughs> so I ordered the same thing, but bigger size. What else is, oh, this is ultimate eyelash glue from McPherson's Reborn FX toothpicks these are just some tools tweezers these are more of these you know these bags are so cheap like like, these are called crystal beads. I don't know if they're actually really crystals, but they were only, like, 98 cents a bag. Same with those in here. Oh, wait. Same. I might as well just keep them all together. <laughs> Same with these. Like... Or maybe these were like 70 cents and these were like 90 cents. I don't know. It's cheap. Oh, and I'm keeping. I like keeping these too. And then. These are some. They're bees. They're supposed to be in that bag. I think. I took a couple out. A couple of charms. No, these are different charms from something else. But they're like little bee moth. So, yeah, I am just rambling. <laughs> so now I made a mess. And you know what? I don't want to leave this room. Because you know what happens? I end up making a video. And then the stuff that I've shown you are taken out. I don't put them back all the time because it's like, okay, I gotta go, gotta go make supper. <laughs> there, so I cleaned up my mess and I have Zena, Zena right here. Oh my goodness. She is so cuddly. She is so cuddly. Did you hear how I just sighed? It's like, okay, <laughs> she feel we can wait. She feels real on my lap right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I keep this pacifier on her because the alloroscope, which is what she is, has like a mouth like that. <laughs> oh, mommy. But I don't know. Like, she is stuffed. Like, look, she actually has a shape to her. And she's filled. Lucy Jaws was her artist. I own many of Lucy's work. I'm like, she's... For, she uses firm polyfill. She's got the frog legs going on, but she's so cuddly. And she's so heavy that when I have her on my lap, she's heavy. She's a heavy girl. But she's been in her jammies for for so long. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the Alloroscope was on sale. A few times at McPherson's. I don't know. That was a long time ago. I do not look at that site anymore. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't. <laughs> the last time. Oh, I've seen so many beautiful sculpts. 
It's like, no, I just can't afford it anymore. Don't look. Don't look. I can't afford it. So, anyways, guys, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here and me and Zena. <sighs> oh, she's so relaxing. And she has no passy. I'm going to have to... It's been a while since I, like, tried to do something with her hair. It's been this, um, pigtails, which I love. But you can tell it's been here for a while. It's starting to fall out. <laughs> but, oh, she's so sweet. I was going to... I was seriously going to think about cutting her hair because... Okay. Because Lucy... I did own an Laura sculpt before, and I named her Punnett. And she, Lucy, also reborn her, but I bought her secondhand from a friend, which I also bought Kylie and Rebecca from. Cassandra, she's no longer in the community. She's, I don't even know she's into reborns anymore. Um, Cassandra cut her hair into a bob. So I still have videos of Panette, but she is also the Allure Sculpt, but she had like brown hair. And Zena has the black hair, and I bought Lucy. I mean, I bought Zena from Lucy herself. So it's kind of funny. Zena's real, like the actress who played Zena is named Lucy. Lucy Lawless. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I didn't even realize that till now. What a coincidence. Lucy and Zena. That's cool. Your creator is also who you're inspired from. Zena is Lucy Wallace. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh. What was I? Oh, what is it? What was this? <laughs> but anyways, Panette had cut hair like uh, Cassandra cut her hair into a bob kind of style. Kind of like mine. Well, a bit shorter. My hair's growing, but... Um, and I really, really liked it on her. And I was going to cut Zena's hair. But so many people um, kind of... Because I asked for advice. And people were saying, no, no, leave her hair long. But the thing is, I don't know. I think Ponette's hair cut was a little more realistic. Because if I let Zena's hair down, it's like really long. So, yeah, I don't know. But she's so cute, even with her hair like this. <sighs> to cut or not to cut? That is the question. Anyways, guys, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Um, happy weekend. And can you believe that it's mid-January 2023? I remember when 2000 rolled around. Like, even that was like mind blowing. Now it's 2023. 20, 23 years later than 2000. I'm turning 50 this year. I can't believe it. I seriously don't feel that old. Except for when I'm doing exercise. I seriously don't feel like the age of 50. Did you know that I used to watch Archie Bunker? And I remember an episode on there when Edith was turning, having a birthday party, and she was turning 50. And that's how old I am. Could it be? I'm as old as the Bunkers. I'm as old as Archie and Edith. Bunker. I'm older than George Jefferson and Louise. I'm older. I'm the same age as Archie Bunker. <sighs> Anyways, guys, happy weekend. Hope that you're well. I'm going to spend some time with Zena. And um, I used to have her, the last time I changed her hair was to a bun. And maybe I'll give her... Um, Different clothes, but she's so cute. 
I don't want to put her in clothes yet. I just want to put her in some jammies. I don't know. These are my favorite jammies on her. Look how cuddly she is. She's like a big, gorgeous pillow. <laughs> so news guys. Oh. Have a great day, guys. Until next time. Love you. Much hand, guys. Much hand. Love you, guys. Bye.